Coach talked about the connectedness of this group and how sometimes that can be understated in terms of a team's success. Do you believe that? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, honestly, it's the most important thing. Um, you know, I think there are teams who have a ton of talent, but if you're missing that, you're only going to go so far because there's going to come a time where things get extremely difficult, um, where there's some bumps, some ups and downs, some frustrations, whatever it may be. And if you're not tied together, like those things will knock you down a peg. And I think the teams uh, that have been fortunate enough to win at the highest levels are the teams that obviously have the talent, but they have the combination of that connectedness or togetherness um, that's helped them overcome the difficult things because they can band together. This team has talked so much about keeping the noise outside. Obviously, when you lose two starters, there's a little bit of a nerve set in in terms of what is this team going to look like. You guys have responded by winning 11 of your last 14. Do you feel a sense of pride amongst the group of what you've been able to accomplish and how you've been able to yeah, and that's the, again, it's the fun part about this group is how much they enjoy one another, you know, like to your first point. Um, and that's where they're doing it, you know what I mean? Like they're doing it together. Like it's not, you know, one person feeling like they have to do everything. It's everybody stepping up in their role uh, and everybody else respecting and appreciating each other's role and how they help. Uh, and you see all those guys in their different roles just shining. Like Sam Merrill can come in the game and shoot 15 threes, and his teammates are going to keep applauding him and cheering him on to do more. Um, you know, J.A. Uh, playing now more with the ball in his hand, is creating assists uh, and finding his teammates and making plays. And his teammates love it when he has the ball in his hand. So it's like those small things where they've embraced one another but appreciated and respected their role changes uh, has been able to help us be successful. It's awesome. I mean, like, part of what we do is about making dreams come true. Um, and anytime a guy gets the opportunity to be in the NBA, it's a dream come true. Obviously, his circumstances here, um, you know, with his brother being here and obviously his father being here, uh, it's even more unique and special. Um, so you can't be happier for him. Uh, it's a guy who's worked his tail off to get here. Uh, but again, just to be a part of that uh, is special for all of us. I'm sure you know, as a coach you're always going to love when a young guy does the right things and works hard and there's an opportunity. So like, can you just explain to us like, what kind of uh, things you guys have seen compete with the charge that you know, made this all possible? Yeah, I, mean, I think it goes back to the summer and even training camp, to be honest with you. Um, you know, you watch him and you know, he's one of those guys that asks the right questions. He's one of those guys that you only have to tell one time. You know, a lot of rookies come in the league and, you know, they can be in the third or fourth position and they make a mistake after watching the first guys go. And, you know, Pete is never that way. Like, he pays attention, he watches, he locks in. And then again, you know, he puts the work in. Um, and then as a basketball player, you see how versatile he is uh, and all the things that he's capable of. You know, he can rebound the basketball, he can pass, you know, he can score, he defends multiple positions. So, uh, you know, that's what the league is about now. You know, those Swiss Army knives at that size, that athleticism. Uh, but again, you give people, you know, what they earn. Uh, and he's been rewarded with it because he earned it. Um, you just talked about a lot of this. Did you know he had a, a triple-double in him? <laughs> no, you, you never know, but you know, again, you, you put the ball in guys' hands who are intelligent and skilled, uh, and those things are possible. So, um, not surprised by it, but it's just great for him to get the opportunity to go out and do it. JB, uh, the five week mark for Evans for the three, anywhere to get some out of this match? Is that the schedule right now in terms of this week and everything? I can't tell you ahead, behind, you know, that type of stuff. All I know is, like, he's progressing. Um, you know, today was the first day that he was involved in practice stuff. Um, you know, not contact yet, but uh, full court, all those things. So he's headed in the right direction. And when it comes to Darius, you guys will be out Do you plan on him traveling with guys? No, he'll be here. Well, if George has a game like that and he comes to the podium and he talks about it's not a big deal. It's 30 point game, it's bigger than that. As a coach, what does that mean to you to see guys kind of deflecting it back to the team? I mean, that's what the environment that you hope you have, right? And that's what this is about. Uh, and we talk about being successful. You know, individual success always comes from team success. Um, and, you know, he's a, you know, obviously a product of that. Um, and, you know, George in his way is a leader on this team. 
Uh, people follow his energy. People follow his voice. Um, people respect, you know, his grind and how he got to where he is. So, like, for him to continue to talk about the team sets the tone for everybody else, and they follow his lead. On the flip side of that, do you then kind of boost him up so he feels it because he's not going to give it to himself? Yeah, no, definitely. Like, you know, George, especially, you know, kind of with his shooting early on, had his ups and downs and those things. But, you know, we kept supporting him. We kept telling him to take his shots. Uh, and so then when he has a night like that, like, you really want to celebrate that night uh, just to help him, you know, with his with the confidence and the belief um, but like it's there for him right and we want him to be able to have those type of nights for us Uh, I, I love the way we're playing, um, and, and it's it's an unselfishness on both sides of the floor, um, and it's a you know a joy and like a passion, uh, but the guys are having fun, um, and to me, like that's what this is all about. Like, we are extremely fortunate uh, to be in the position that we're in, so we should enjoy the hell out of it. You know, and when guys get to go out, compete, play selfless basketball, uh, I mean, it's so much fun. And then when you watch the guys embrace other people's joys and successes, like, that's what this is all about. Uh, I mean, again, it's, it's a base and a standard that you have to set no matter where you are. Uh, and, you know, our focus is, like, defensively, we know it travels. Uh, and as long as you can defend, you give yourself a chance to win anywhere. So as long as we continue with that mindset that we're a defensive uh, team first, uh, and then offensively, you know, we go out and, uh, you know, get our objectives that we're aiming for as far as our shot quality and those types of things, our assist numbers, um, you know, those types of things, we'll, we'll be just fine because it, it travels. Uh, I mean, to be honest with you, not yet. Maybe, you know, a few years from now when, um, you know, we've accomplished some of the things that we've all set out to accomplish, you'll look back at that. Uh, but right now, we're just having fun with where we are right now with this group, uh, thinking about, you know, the day to day, how we help them improve. You know, what we know is we have a lot of young, talented players that are going to have an impact on this league for a long time. Uh, and our focus is how do we contain that, uh, keep it here, and make it a great team. All right.